Here's a very quick vlog this week. I was listening to Dedan and playing the other day there. One of my favourite bits of Dedan is when they go from a jig into a reel. So I thought we could look at four ways, four, four, four ways where uh, of different breaks from a jig into reel. The two tunes I'm going to use are the jig, The Old Woman's Dance by the amazing piper and composer, pipe major Donald McLeod. And an equally fabulous tune, Trip to Wizard, by one a really an amazing Cape Breton composer, Dan R. MacDonald. Definitely check out all their tunes if you haven't heard them before. They're classics. Why jigs it into reels? Well, it is a really great way of doing something exciting to finish off a tune set. The jigs, they're, they're obviously in compound time, which means that each beat that you tap your foot is actually a dotted crotchet. Whilst a reel you're going into usually be cut time, which is two two or whenever uh, a minimum the two beats you tap your foot once, if that makes any sense. And but anyway, whatever it means, it's dead exciting to do it. And there's different ways to do it. So the first example I thought we could look at is straight. So let's just do the last eight bars of Old Women's Dance into Trip to Windsor. To keep it simple, you just keep your foot tapping at the same speed all the way, like this. Sounds great, definitely the first thing to think about. Second, slow the jig down, speed the reel up, you don't have to think about speed. You don't have to think about your foot. That's also a really good technique between reels as well. You might just play a couple of reels and slow one down and then speed the next one up. Audiences like this because it feels exciting. The third variation here is changing the last two bars of a jig into a reel and this sounds like this. Just a couple of things to think about there as I went up to the, I played up to a top C just to give it a little da 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 and then I also uh, played, I thought about the chord harmony and, and the notes I played before going into the A real now, that means I played the, the dominant of the, the second real, the real that we're going to play is in the key of A. Uh, the chord I want to play before going into A is, a, is an E chord because it's the fifth and it always sounds really nice. So I, I played around the E major chord, G sharp, A, B to go in. Here's another uh, final version, so there's adding the two bars of real, but why not add another two bars on the top of it, which just gives it a little bit something different. There's a few different things just there, I added an extra two bars, I kept on going down the way, and then I actually thought of a sort of interesting sort of scale thing I could possibly do in it but the key here is just to try a few different ideas. I'll just play the tunes for you and you can hear it.
Thank <laughs> you.